Hey there riders, MotoJourno Chris here today and I am testing out the Suzuki Address 110 thanks to MotoHub in Castle Hill. They've kindly lent me their brand new demo scooter and basically I've just spent the morning riding around on this machine really to see what it offers. I will say these are a great value option for someone looking for two-wheeled motorized transport. Uh, obviously the convenience of a scooter is enormous. These are just over $3,500 on the road here in Australia, which makes them really one of the cheapest ways to get onto the road. And keeping in mind, of course, you're getting Suzuki reliability. Uh, in the scooter, you're getting a 24 month warranty. I think I saw today as well. And while the performance is by no means, you know, crazy or super duper, you're getting a solid machine as far as what I've seen today. Now, things to keep in mind, obviously being a scooter, the convenience factor, the comfort factor, the ease of use factor is huge. This is a tiny little machine, realistically speaking, but at 70, 75 kilos, 180 centimeters, I find I fit the scooter perfectly. There's no dramas at all there. Uh, it's only 97 kilos wet, ready to go. It's got a little single air-cooled engine in it, uh, only about nine horsepower apparently. And while, you know, power is on the limited side, it's plenty good enough for doing your regular urban riding. You know, 60 to 80 kilometers an hour, no issues whatsoever. Uh, I did have a pillion on the back just for a little while when I got some photos taken. Uh, earlier and I will say that you did notice once you had the extra person on the back of the bike that that performance then became much more limited and so uh, I'll say definitely for a single rider I think this is going to be an ideal machine for doing limited two-up duties or just really you know low speed around towning it'll probably do that fine uh, you're getting some storage built in you've got an underseat storage compartment there that'll take a full face helmet it'd fit my showy in there no dramas whatsoever. Uh, there's no standard top box. However, Suzuki do sell a $250 30 liter top box, which adds to the level of storage you get, bringing it up to a very generous level for really quite a low price. Now on the one side of things, it's quite easy to talk about the address and kind of call things quite basic. You know, at the end of the day, it's got telescopic forks, basic suspension setup. It's got a single monoshock offset on the rear there. Uh, I've got to say the level of comfort was good. Over speed bumps, especially really harsh kind of small speed bumps, you do feel it. Over really harsh bumps on the road you feel it. But I mean even for fairly broken up surfaces and things like that, it tracks nicely. Reasonably comfortable uh, for your you know, smoother roads, no dramas whatsoever. It works really, really well. Uh, the brakes likewise, you know, a little bit basic. It's got this tiny disc brake on that front wheel. It really is a, a tiny little disc brake. And uh, I've got to say, you know, the, the braking performance from the front was, you know, okay. Uh, the drum brake on the rear just seems to offer a significant level of uh, that braking performance between the front and the rear. And in conjunction, the two, they bring the scooter up to a halt you know, well within reason. Uh, you could definitely have more braking power on this, but do I think it's necessarily? Not really. Uh, the IRC tires, they do the job grippy. I had, you know, dry conditions. I had some wet roads uh, and I was never at all concerned about the tires. So I was really, really happy with that actually. I would say those tires did a great job. Other things to mention, you know, the seating position, it's, it looks compact, but there's a good amount of room. There's a 755 millimeter seat height, I'll show you. Jumping on, I've got a lot of bend in my knees as you can probably see here. And that's simply because the seat height is really quite low. I think a shorter rider or someone with shorter legs is gonna find this a very easy thing to jump onto, which again, combined with that 97 kilo weight, I mean, this is really a featherweight, particularly compared to all the motorcycles that I'm used to. Uh, it's such an easy thing to move around, even putting the center stand down earlier when I was on some really rough terrain and I just couldn't get the center stand down. It was just so easy to manhandle the bike around because it just, it feels like to me as a motorcyclist, it weighs nothing. Now for a smaller first time rider, you'll probably feel that weight a fair bit more just because you're not used to handling something like that. However, I would definitely say this is probably gonna be one of the easiest small little scooters uh, or bikes to handle just because of that weight. Uh, you've also got 
a bit of storage here. They're just open storage compartments. Uh, I'm assuming there's probably some holes that they'll drain out of so they don't fill with water, but you could put, you know, drink bottles or something in there. Non-adjustable levers, good vision through those mirrors, bit of adjustability there. Really quite simple dash. There's, you know, engine light, high beam light, a indicator light, your taco, speedo, sorry, not your taco, just a speedo. You've got your odometer and a fuel gauge. Very, very simple. You know, it's backlit, does the job. Doesn't have a clock, which is something that I normally like to see, but you know, it's a very value driven scooter. Uh, you've got your high beam switch there, quite a solid action in that switch, very mechanical. Same with the indicators, but it works. Uh, you got the horn, you got a starter on the right hand side. On the left hand side, the only thing interesting is uh, obviously with that brake lever, there's a secondary lever there. And you've got a kickstart on this scooter, which is great because you're not going to get caught out if you run out of battery or something like that. Uh, I used it earlier, kicked to life very, very easily, really didn't need to use much force whatsoever. It's a really cool thing to see. And like I said, you know, the seating position on this, uh, for me, 180 centimeters, 32 inch inseam, good amount of room. Obviously, even for my size 11 feet, there's enough room there. There's a bit of extra room for someone with larger feet. Uh, really quite impressive. And it's a very natural seating position. As I said, easy reach to the ground. You know, you can move a bit further back in the seat to the wider part of the seat, but I preferred it on the front for whatever reason. And it's very narrow at the front to get those feet down easily. So yeah, a uh, nice, easy, very manageable seating position. And I'm, I'm gonna say, you know, jumping on this and riding this around, it's gonna be such an easy thing really to get started on. Very, very manageable power, nice, easy throttle response. You know, the power is not gonna overwhelm you even in, I would say, slippery conditions. Neither is the torque. It's, you know, quite a gentle uh, torque curve, realistically speaking, even when you just go wide open throttle, which you probably will be doing as the confidence grows. Uh, Simple headlight, simple indicators integrated on the front and off the off the rear there. You know, it's a it's a super easy thing to ride. Uh, the same as I said, those tires, really good grip. It'll turn on an absolute dime very easily. It's nice and stable even on the side of the tire. The narrow tires make it a very nimble handler. Quick turning, easy. Again, so easy to ride. Uh, I reckon someone with no experience really could jump on one of these and in a day feel confident riding in general conditions, which really, that's what you want. Obviously being such a good value option, chucking some storage on the back and maybe doing like food delivery or something could well be an option for you. And I mean, again, I think on the Suzuki website they were saying $18 repayment a week. Uh, that's probably quite a long term, uh, but it would not be hard to really justify one of these and to run one of these both as your transport or do deliveries and earn a bit of money on the side and I think it'd pay for itself quite well. By the same mark, five litre fuel tank I think it is, 50 k's a litre you should get out of it. I mean that's exceptional value. Similar to most of those small capacity machines uh, but you're going to be saving money in the long run particularly if you know you're saving money on parking and stuff as well with this as a machine. So it just it makes a lot of sense. I will say, I think, you know, close competitor is probably the Yamaha Delight. What I do like about the Suzuki is I think the finish quality is better. On the Yamaha Delight, I felt like some of the plastics were quite cheap, particularly around the controls and stuff like that. And while by no means is this crazy premium, uh, the finish quality on the paint's really nice. The quality of the plastics is really, really nice as well. Uh, a nice step up, as I said, from the Yamaha Delight. You've got a lockable ignition on the front there. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Which gives you access in under the seat. As I mentioned, a full face helmet will fit in there. Uh, I don't know how much else you'll fit, but that's a good amount of storage for a small scooter. Fuel tank there as well. Very easy to access, very easy to lock. You've got that rack on the back, which is ready for a top box. Nice to see. Uh, simple indicators, you know, very simple exhaust. As far as the engine side of things, very, very simple. But again, everything's well integrated. Side stand and center stand, nice to see. Uh, there's, there's very little that I could ask for on this scooter. So I've got to say for the price, 
really, really impressed by Suzuki's address. And this thing makes a lot of sense, I would say, for someone looking for a really affordable, great everyday commuter, or as I said, maybe delivery vehicle, you could, you could fit that out for that. Uh, being a Suzuki with that longer warranty, you can have a bit of peace of mind there as well. Whereas, you know, if you're buying something cheap, kind of not well known name in the really cheap side of things, I think problems are more common and complaints are far more common. And uh, Suzuki have just done a great job with this. And obviously being a cheap scooter, they succeed for a reason. I saw a heap of these out on the roads today uh, being used by delivery riders and just being used to commute on obviously in general, which is nice to see. So if you've got any questions about the Suzuki address, I'll do my best to answer them. Just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there and I'll be back soon.